<laughs> Thank you. Because I'm made out of black beans. Ooh, I'll, I'll, I volunteer. Please, please, please. It's a misunderstanding. I am not the killer. Jesus. Whoa, jeez. Poisoning someone to death. Hey, hey this is... Yeah, it looks like it's poison. Wow, I wonder where the game... <laughs> I wonder what gave that away. <laughs> poison. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Dank and Rampa 2. Goodbye, despair. Yes. The investigation of the century has begun over what is undeniably the most gruesome murder scene of the series. So, welcome back. Already said that, but whatever. Nagito is dead. Um, was, <laughs> was really not expecting that. If you remember, uh, I thought the core three were gonna be Hajime, Nagito, and Chiaki. Like, we're the three that's gonna make it off the island. Like how, um, in the last game, Byakuya, um, Kyoko, and Makoto seemed guaranteed to get off, and they did get off. Uh, Hajime taking the place of Makoto, Chiaki taking the place of Kyoko, and Nagito taking the place of Byakuya. Other than the other Byakuya who's, who's dead now, but it doesn't matter about him. <laughs> And Jesus, what a way to go. We have the truth. I know his body's right there, but look at that. I apologize. I do apologize last episode for pausing on the gruesome scene for about 10 minutes. But you need to understand. Oh, my God. I don't think I've ever been with speech just had a game thing ever. And, and I mean, that's not any trouble at all. But Monokuma's dead. He's been stabbed! I mean, Nagito, who cares about it, but... <laughs> no, I don't want to look at the fire grenades! Got a bunch of plastic bottles, remnants of plastic all scattered all over the place. This is probably... Oh yeah, there's a fire too, that... <laughs> that happened. Caused by a traitor! There's fire grenades that we used to put out the fire. Well, we weren't actually that useful in the end. <laughs> Whoa. The strobe lighting uh, sprinklers came in. The fire was only extinguished thanks to sprinklers. Thank you, sprinklers. Well, nevertheless, the evidence isn't all that strange. Look at Monokuma! He's dead! Monokuma's dead! There's blood coming out of his stomach! Hey, hey! Mm. No response. You got Jim. <laughs> okay. Oh, they Hi! <laughs> Just kidding! I'm not dead. No! I mean, yay! Why would I say no? Is, is this one of those life size plushies that were being produced at the factory? <laughs> You must take a person for me, think there's something wrong with you. Exactly. Just a fan too. Hey. Or not! Don't put oversized garbage in there. It's so misleading. What the heck? What do you got like oversized garbage? Could this be? Oh, could this be? One of Monokuma's tricks. Monokuma's dead. That is death. Why do you do it? Making a hole in this, like he got stabbed and going into the trouble of dirtying the hole with blood. You try to imitate Nagito's body or something? Oh! What are you I saying? I never know that. I agree. I, I, I completely believe you. Huh? You're so evil. <laughs> He's probably lying. Seriously, you're always lying. You should just die like the plus you will. Hey! What's this? <laughs> seem more pissed than usual these days. Come on to me. You better watch what you say. <laughs> I feel like it can wipe you out easily, you know? I, I, I don't doubt it. I won't give in to your threat. I'll fight you to the- There you go, Monomi. Heck yeah, like the Mono Beast. I didn't- I didn't train you for that for nothing. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I cannot- I cannot stop doing that. It's, it's like an infection. The Monokuma Plague. The Despair Disease. That's mine. It's the despair of annoyance of Monokuma. No, I'm kidding. I'm never going to get tired of Monokuma. Because he's the freaking best. I don't know why I turned into papaya stuff for <laughs> I won't give into your thoughts. I'll fight you to the very end. I can't lose. I would, fair, I would definitely take back the Seed of World Supremacy for Monica. What? Wait, uh, what? Uh, wait, hold on. That is that. It's like those two annoyances are gone. Yeah, we're not going to comment on what she said. It was a Monokuma's trick. Then who did this? Could the killer have done this? If so, is this Nagito's blood? I have no idea how this connects to the incident. I'm taking Tooth Bullet. Monokuma plushie. Yeah. <laughs> Nagito. Oh, no, no, no. I still can't get over that. I always said Nagito to die like this. He's always spouting nonsense about hope and trying to confuse the hell out of us. But even so, dying like this is just too cruel. Also, he was clearly useless. <laughs> One time we were able to reach the truth because of him, but everything good and bad about him is gone. 
never be confused by him again. We'll never be saved by him again. No, now isn't the time to think about unnecessary things. You need to focus on the investigation right now. Look at his face! Now I need to investigate everything about this body that catches my eye. Let's start with, I don't know, the face. The face is very reasonable to look at. He must have been in great pain. He clearly had an agonizing look on his face when he died. His mouth was covered with duct tape was to keep Nagito from screaming for help. Ooh, this is it's bad. really dark. Jeez, what a horrible look on his face. The blood splatter all over it doesn't help either. It's a good thing his mouth is covered with duct tape, otherwise we won't be able to look at him. Um uh, got a minute? Sorry, excuse me. Jackie moved past Kazuichi and me and squatted down next to Nagito's face. Ah! It was <laughs> Jeez, that's awful. One swift movement, she ripped the duct tape off of his mouth. Hey, what are you doing? It's gonna be fine. How do we find? I'll put it back right away once I'm done investigating. Hey, hey, hey! P putting the tape back isn't the issue, you ungrateful swine! You're gonna get good! Whoa! Mm. Oh, uh, how the blood on Nagito's face? It looks like it mostly came from the slice of his left arm. Hmm, that's the case. Man. No use, you've seen all this thing. Hey, hey! Hey, you've had the blood splattered on his face. There's no blood on him underneath the duct tape. Ooh. Huh? What's wrong with that? Well... This duct tape has crinkles, like the sticking towards the inside of his mouth, right? Nagito was probably desperately moving his mouth under the duct tape. <laughs> Seriously! Oh, then it would lift up the tape to get, um... Blood under there. Because if he was violently moving his mouth, then the duct tape wouldn't have came up in certain corners, but there was absolutely nothing underneath it. So that's something to keep an eye out for. Meaning... That... Either he actually wasn't screaming, his mouth was just open instead of just going crazy. Or it was like his face was cleaned near the mouth and then covered that clean spot covered in duct tape. I don't know. Maybe it's the first one we just held his, ma held his mouth open and he wasn't actually like struggling or screaming, but that... No, that does sound like Nagito. What am I talking about? Seriously, what's wrong with that? Which means Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he got those wounds all over his body. So I tried to shout which caused the duct tape to get sucked into his mouth a bit. But what's wrong with that? Is there something we really- Yes! Uh, yes, there is! Idiot! <laughs> don't really get it, but just put the duct tape back on his mouth already. Yep. No, no, no. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now that looks great. It does, totally doesn't look worse. Anyway, this might be kind of a clue, too. I should remember it. <laughs> the duct tape has been that truth bullet. I have to step through Nagito's right hand! You have to do this! <laughs> no, no, that was him. It was him. It was his well doing. He just felt like, man, I'm under attack right now with a spear. Let me just stab my hand, and we'll be good to go. Can they do this? How could they do something so cruel? Um, this knife must be from the military base. Military base? Oh, you were there. Ah, now they mention it. You're right. Looks like a survivor knife. Oh, it's Mukuro. She did it. I do have Mukuro's knife, though. That's a clue. By the way, it seems the wounds on his legs and left arm were caused by that same knife. Which means after the killer was finished stabbing Nagito's left, left arm, they stabbed the knife through his right hand. It oh, we're gonna have to be. remember that uh, order for something. And then they finished off with him with a spear. How cruel! How cruel! And does that mean the killer went to the trouble of using two weapons? A knife and a spear? That sounds highly illogical in order to do. I mean, like, you gotta, you gotta get the knife and you gotta get the spear to work, and who knows what else? But they could have just killed him by stabbing him with a knife. I don't think he's a spear at all. You are right. To make things fun? That is definitely strange. Was there a reason they had to use it? They had to use a spear, huh? I felt like it, I guess. Spiral knife has been added. Broken rope. Oh, burnt rope. Nagito's right wrist was tied with rope. But it looks like the tip of that rope is burned off. This would be a result of the fire? But that's weird. Rope was burned off like this. Da -da -da. Why are Nagito's clothes completely unaffected by the fire when he was so close to the blaze? Oh! Going to rope. Strange. Hmm. What is this? Okay, we gotta look at left hand spear. Oh god, freaking here we go. No one, no one in the fan service is gonna be some really creepy, gross DB. Not. Look at Nagito's feet! Don't play me, all right? I'm not the one who started this. I'm just reciprocating what the game has brought into my mind. You blame them? Blame them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a spear with a flashy ornament on it is appeared deeply in the Nagito's stomach. From the mm. place. It's no... <laughs> yeah, that's what brought it all. It's a spear from the place. It's 
from the freaking castle. Castle Frickiting. Yeah, that's his full name. No way around it. That looks like the fatal What's one. this? Oh. oh my! What's this? It's a strange looking spear, isn't it? A cord extends from the tip of the handle and there's an iron wedge attached to it. Phew. I see, I see. What is a whip to capture the enemy and deliver the final blow with the spear? Is this your first time looking at this too? <laughs> uh, of course not! Um, this is a spear of Ganya! Oh, oh, oh! He makes a second appearance in the game series! No, oh, thank you, Wanakuma, for the return of the godly spear, Ganya! You definitely just came up with that. No, he didn't! No! Gunnir has been here the whole time! This godly spear gun here. Hey! By the way, I'm gonna ask you. Where did the spear come from? Um, from the castle. Yeah, exactly. I feel like I saw that in the Zumi cat. I don't I don't have a freaking theory in the world so far, but I'm hitting at bullseyes this whole investigation. Yeah, take that. What? What? Zumi Castle? What the hell? It's designed to be afraid of mice. I can't go in there. <laughs> Damn you, mice! Damn you out of hell! Jeez. Monokuma then went off to commit a mouse massacre. See, even he doesn't know what's inside the castle. That sounds like a lot. Well, more importantly, I need to focus on the investigation. Spear definitely catches. I mean, not that I'm doubting Monokuma by any means necessary. Spear definitely catches my eye, but the weight on the end of the cord coming out of the handle looks like the part has blood on it, too. But for some reason, this section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. It's about the size of a human fist. It's strange that this section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. Yeah, we get it. We don't have blood on it. So, Jackie mentioned this earlier, but apparently that spear came from the Zumi castle. Maybe better have to confirm that later. Spear of Ganya! The godly spear of Ganya! It's godly. Don't forget how godly the spear of Ganya is. It's 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 unparalleled. Has been added to the section of the handbook. Yeah, really. I wanna wipe this whole cord thing has got my eyes. And come to his upper left arm. His legs and right hand have stab wounds, but this wound looks like a slice. Probably the reason the wound on his left arm doesn't look that deep compared to his other wounds. I had a, I have a theory when I first saw this body and it's the biggest, it's one of the biggest, well, it's not the biggest, I mean, the freaking, the freaking Toko Spirit and the Mind Control Ibuki are more up there than this one, but when I was looking at the body, I was thinking about certain things, like where people were and the damage to his body and where things on his body are, and I might have a theory, and the thing about the tape confirmed it. And if things keep going like how I think it is, other things will confirm it. I got some. Ooh, I got some. Okay. This is just a work in progress theory, alright? But I, I was really not debating saying it because I was probably pretty wrong because I was thinking like, can I place my hands in to do with it? I just saw, I just realized something. Even though I clicked on it, and it's probably gonna say it for me, but... Take a look at this, alright? Nagito, on the ground, tied, right? He's, he's brutalized, you know? Blood on the face, blood on the hair. Blood on his right hand, blood on his chest, on his legs. On the ground, and on his cape. Dang. So, what I'm getting at is there's blood everywhere, correct? Hmm, wait, no. Keep in mind that there is... If I'm gonna go back to this theory, if things keep continuing to go my way, I'm gonna keep it in my Ouija vault. Heck yeah, you're gonna have to wait for the Ouija crack theory. Just know that I'm... What really is helping me think of this theory, of like, align with it, notice his left hand. Notice the palm of his left hand, how it has... No blood whatsoever, and realize that the knife is going through his right hand. Just remember that for now, because I might come back with a theory, because I have a freaking a horrendous theory, but everything seems to add up to, to it. So far, this is the very beginning of the trial, so it's nothing, and I've learned to wait to tell my theories until I have enough evidence. Because, like, the when I thought it was Gundam uh, when Ibuki and Hyoko died, I... I had like 18 theories at the whole thing. It's like, well, okay, we'll wait to the end and make a full theory. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just know I'm keeping note of the fact that his left palm has no blood in it whatsoever, and the knife is stabbed into his right palm, alright? Just keeping that in mind, alright? Yeah, this is gonna this is <laughs> this is gonna be great. I love playing investigator in these games. You know, I love the investigations. I think maybe what it's not the most uh, fun I have in this game, but it's definitely tied for most. <laughs>
So I guess it is most. I don't know. I don't know. I just find it really fun. Well, God, let's just see the fact there's a hideous wound and there's blood everywhere. Super Except... difficult. Hmm, there's something strange. She's gonna say about the left palm. Strange? What? See? Look at the palm. Right. After I turn into a race car, you should be able to tell that that's my I caught it. <laughs> right. Well, it's not really an I caught it if it's a basic observation, but still. I think the blood is from where his left arm was slashed, but doesn't the splatter look strange? It's cut off by the middle of his palm. I said I wasn't going to say anything, but I'll give you a hint of what I'm thinking. Remember his knife in his right hand stabbed through his right hand and his left palm is 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 clean all right you you you're probably in a you i assume you're intelligent enough all right you you're freaking smart so how about that so you probably know what i'm going with the knife is stabbed through his right hand his left palm is clean near the middle of his palm and think about what area of your hand a knife covers that you're holding it like. Okay. God, I want to say it so bad. No, I'll keep it. I'll keep. I'll keep. I'll keep the theory building because I might be wrong. I don't know. Yeah, it definitely cuts off. Maybe that's as far as the blood could reach when it's splattered. Um, nope. When well, that would explain the blood in his palm, but something else that's strange. Um, Let's flip it over and look at the bag of his hand. Well, he has also blood, but also above the middle. Oh, I can see that. It wasn't only on this part. See? It's just I said, right? It's strange, right? I win. <laughs> yeah, you, I guess you do. Yeah, you, yeah, sure, you win. But that'd be strange. What do you think they'll do to make the butt sprout like this? I don't know. Might, you might want to ask him. Oh, wait. I don't think you can. Keeping it to myself, do I? Do I reveal it? What I think. Both of Nagito's legs are tied up. Each rope is tied to the pillars nearby. He won't have been able to move at all. When the Monokuma fire, the wound on his legs are all stab wounds. Doesn't that mean the killer just tied not up Nagito? He also stabbed his legs. Why did the killer do something like that? Uh, because they're crazy. Damn it! And I can't think of anyone crazy in this room. Alive, at least. At any rate, it's pretty sadistic. The killer must have been holding a huge grudge toward him. I know someone who's holding a huge grudge toward him. I do. I know who it is. Well, I know who's holding. Who I know the, a couple people who's holding a grudge near him. But I know one person in particular. If only we could ask. Or they might, they might have been torturing him. To torture? I know someone who brought up torture. <laughs> it's probably obvious who I think it might be. Um, even though it's probably not, honestly. All my theories I've said, they pro they might be it, but they're probably not. And it turns out, yeah, they're probably not. Hey, they did been right. Oh, oh! <laughs> huh? I mean, if they just wanted to kill him, they could have just stabbed him once in the chest, right? <laughs> if he discarded the spear in his chest, the other wounds were inflicted, the others for uh, killing. <laughs> Which means the wounds all over Nagito's body were from the killer torturing him? Da, da, da. That's the case. What was the killer trying to make Nagito confess? Was it something that would have led him through it? Mm. Even so. Well, even if it was torture, there's no doubt that the killer must have had a deep grudge towards Nagito. Damn it! Yep. Almost as if they didn't like Nagito, if the killer personally didn't like Nagito, if a person would deem Nagito a willing sacrifice for the escape of themselves. I can't think of anyone who fit the bill to murder Nagito for those reasons. Looking around, Shifty. I'm willing to let him die easily. I can totally understand a dark impulse like that. But even if they had a grudge against him, would they really have gone this far? Get no bullet! Hey, no torture wounds! Oh, God! This <laughs> super sexual man, but I don't want the air trying to knock you with body keys. I can't believe I'm actually investigating such a grisly looking body. I'm not surprised at myself. I mean, I'm used to it. My classmate said bodies right in front of me, and one of my peers is the killer's responsible. I don't know if we're gonna have to worry about that killer. I have to investigate his death so I can find the killer. Am I supposed to eat some Am I supposed to eat. Am I used to something as abnormal as this? That would mean I'm becoming abnormal too. Blood. Ooh, I see blood. Ooh, I see blood. Can I seriously not look at the blood up there? There is blood up here. How did it get up there? Look up. 
Look up. Look up. There is blood on the thing up there. Oh god, where's the lighter? Jesus Christ, that's a thick lighter! Where'd you get this bed, bath, and behemoth? Oh, this is an oil lighter. Well, the curtains would have been hanging. It also looks like the fire did extensive damage here. The oil lighter was placed here. Just kidding. Uh, I know oil lighter. Perhaps someone wanted to keep it. Yeah, mm, totally. Bring it on! It is the most foolish thought. This is clearly the cause of the well? fire. Oil lighter's been continuing to burn even after someone lets go of them. Ash friends! So using that, the curtain was set on fire. Using the oil lighter. Huh? Using the oil lighter, huh? They say the killer used some sort of tree with it. Oh god, I'm turning tail too. I'm turning out of the black guy. Alright, no, not for that. <laughs> You're probably planning to destroy evidence by setting this warehouse on fire. Got the fire to destroy evidence? The only reason I can think of why the killer would set fire to the crime scene, but. Teen truth bullet, oil lighter. <laughs> can I talk to you? Can you notice? Can you look up, please? Can you look? You're looking up. Do you see it? Da da da. This is deep thought when she's staring at the. Deep pointed out. The me is a bit too slow. What's happening? Is something strange with yep. feeling? Yeah, about that sprinkler. Sprinkler? Yeah, totally just a sprinkler. Not the blood on the freaking rebar. 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 Steel thing up there. There's one of the sprinkler heads and it activated the well? fire. You can see a grinder next to it. Right there. See? Mm! Actually, that's pink, Chucky. He might be colorblind, but I forgive you. You see that pink streak? Huh? Yeah, I did, actually. How did I see that, by the way? Right, I can definitely see it. There's a small red line on the ceiling gutter. Perhaps. Is that blood? Blood? It definitely looks like blood, but there's no way blood could get up there, right? Plus, it's a straight, it's a straight light. Hmm. That's why I've been staring at it. I think it's strange. It's really strange. Remember this. Oh, good. Yeah! Oh wow, we we I showed you love Amone. <laughs> <laughs> you must kill Nagito in such a cruel <laughs> way. <laughs> it's too bizarre. I, I can't do anything except laugh. I'm nervous. So just as I thought. If only everyone could go home, nothing would make me happier. No, we should finish the class trial. Then we can think about what will happen after. What do you think, baby gangster? Like. I'm not thinking about it about like the Kazuichi, but I definitely can't stop thinking about it. When Monokuma time will reach zero two days from now, what's gonna happen? Huh? Huh? What's gonna happen? That's obviously the wrong. school trip is gonna end, right? We can finally go back home! Give it till the end. I mean, you don't think that'll happen? Well, yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty uh, normal answer. Monokuma might be planning to make us do something after the counter ends. Hey, Good hey! Answer. And Kazuichi goes to that. I'm not surprised in any way. Well, what do you mean by something? Shut up! You Shut up! Really to, you know? What could be worse than that? Damn it! I don't know. But this is Monokuma we're talking about, you know? There's no way this will end smoothly with that countdown. A anyway, like you said before, screw up here, it's the end for us. For now, let's focus on the investigation. Think about the countdown after we live through the class trial. Right? Yeah, I know. You. Don't pick up strange stuff like that. Hey. Um... The baby gangster alone. It mattered for Gundam's killing and for Mikan's, but you look at it differently this time. It doesn't matter this time. What doesn't matter? So... The time! It looks like the time doesn't matter. Why am I so... I can't, why can I not form words today? It's clearly written in the Monokuma file the time of death was noon sharp. If it, was at, if it was at noon, what were we doing at that time? Hmm. What are we doing? Well, why now it's... It's time! It's 11.30 p.m. So the last one has a clock launch. Yeah! yeah. That means Nagito died 30 minutes huh? ago. Huh? It happened that recently? He's totally a fresh kill! That seems like a bad way to describe mm. it, yeah. Um, it happened 30 minutes ago. Was it around the time we were struggling with the bombs? Right, those fake bombs were originally supposed to explode at noon. Oh, right. Distraction. Which means whoever doesn't have an alibi for that time is Nagito's killer. Mm. But even when Nakamaru died, the killer could have also been some kind of automatic setup. Also, also, the crime looks very detailed, so they would have needed the time of repair. Right. Then whoever doesn't have an alibi before we found the bombs is huh? suspicious. Who must have an alibi for that time? Well, there's one person who wasn't with us. That not saying anything until the investigation concludes and I make my grand theory. That's probably wrong, but whatever. 
Yeah, that's a problem. Now then, I guess... That's enough investigating the area behind the curtain. The killer's goal wasn't just killing Nagito. There should have been another reason as well. Um, if not, they wouldn't have gone to the trouble of tying him up with rope and covering his mouth with duct tape. Not just that, there's no reason to inflict any wound other than the fatal one. So, what was the reason? We better investigate other areas to figure that out too. Alright, let's try investigating the other areas inside the warehouse first. I know I've already said too much. Because I... I um, but I'm gonna say... Um, last game ended with, with the final six. You do the math about how many people are, are left. Huh, I can finally look at the books! Thank you! There's a bunch of books stacked on top of each other. Apparently they couldn't be Monum Kuma's portrait photos! You can smoothly soak them up. No! Oh, yes, you are! I didn't even get to read them one time! Oh, it's all because it's fun! This is broken. Sleep player. You didn't even speak and plugged into it. But why is this here? Maybe. Like that wee music was playing from there. Mm. You know, the music was playing when the fire started. You're right. I think he's busted from getting drenched by the sprinklers. No mistake here. That music was playing from the MP3 player. I didn't disagree with that, but I think they were playing uh, atmosphere. <laughs> MP3 player, man. It's too brutal. No words. Hard. Here we go. Tons of CDs. New CDs. Copies of Monica with music. Listen. Should have been burned too. No. <laughs> Why are you don't mean? You have to say the same thing. Hmm. It sounds completely soaked because of the sprinkler. If there was an important clue here, we might not be able to notice it. The warehouse was burning to the ground. I <laughs> think we were able to put out hey, the fire. Hey, hey. There's a lot of smoke. I think we didn't go and tap on the other side. You are right. I agree. He did. He would have been caught by the sprinklers. Why am I yawning? <laughs> you become more quiet than Oh! <gasps> no! Shut up! Shut up! My son is a wet! He's a son is a soggy! Hey! Hey! I'm thinking about it, huh? <laughs> of course he not! He was. Uh, I wasn't thinking that at all! Say what? You're spawning, Kazuchi. Let me have to be. Whoa! Hey, you screwed with me! Yes. Oh my, it's growing. Hold on. God, Kazuchi, keep it PG. Look at that. <laughs> this is just... Thanks, Monokuma. Hey, hey, hey! You're looking at me with such fearful eyes. I imagine if we're set... Okay, well... <laughs> That's fine. Any more than a second, I would have been really uh, weirded out. Kazuchi's fucking squeaky mouth shut already. Oh, by the way, Sony did a dot dot dot, so I thought I'd bring it up now. No, because I forgot a second ago. Da, da, da. <laughs> There's another one. Oh, no, I did say I was going to freaking kill him. Hey, hey, hey. I would have actually done it. I was just upset, you know? Hmm, sure. Tell it to the judge. Which Jeez, is me. You're pathetic. What the... Hey, that's. <laughs> just wanted to talk to you, man. Jesus. <laughs> I'm thinking about the countdown after we live through the class trial. Hello, Miss Sonia. Da da da. I think Sony is focused on investigating the warehouse. Which reminds me, there's something I need to ask you about. Now that we've pretty much finished investigating Nagito's body, I think it's time to talk to her. Hey, Sonya, do you have a minute? Um, yes, what is it? I'm gonna talk to you about what that fake bomb Nagito said in the warehouse exploded. Huh? huh? Right before it exploded, you said something like this, right? It is alright. It is not a bomb. How do you know that, hmm? Why did you know the bombs were fake? Kill her! Um, getting in on my... Prime suspect. Prime suspect numero uno. It rhymes. Um, um, well, it's not all either. When we came looking for the bombs, why were we at the military base? I thought you were supposed to be searching the central island. Plus, when I called for you, you didn't come to the factory right away. Was there something... Where were you and what were you doing during that time? Oh, my. Oh, oh, my. It cannot be. Do, do you suspect me? No, but you're not helping yourself. It is a misunderstanding. I am not the killer. Jesus! Whoa! Jeez! Jesus! You son of a... Sonia? I am sorry! I am terribly sorry. I was panicked. Um... I can tell. Uh, I shall calm my down and explain to you why I was at the military base. When I first explored the first star, final island, I discovered a vast amount of bombs there. Huh? Well? At first I was worried that someone might use them for nefarious reasons. I announced it to everyone, so I kept silent the whole time. I mean, when you heard Nagito planting the bombs, you got suspicious and went to investigate that them? That is! And as, I says, and as I suspected, the bombs had disappeared. Well, the bombs actually were, were actually in the military base. Or, well, they never existed, I don't know. I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. Because you were searching for them, you were late when they, we all gathered? Please listen! Because... Jeez, you sound very desperate! Please listen! Oh, Sonya, we're listening. Please! Well, I'm, I'm hearing you out, Jesus! Because of that, I reached a conclusion. Oh my god, I need a. 
Ow! Oh, stop being a little bit. Bombs in Nagito brought were from a military base, which means they were fake bombs. Oh, how do you find out the bombs in a military uh, base were fake? Because I attempted to use one of the. Cool. What? I, see. I, see. I thought one of the bombs would be strong enough to blast open the door to the engine room. Um. At the time, I still believed the bombs were real, and I thought I could use one of them to gain interest in the engine room. Oh. How yeah! Are... Whoa! That plan was not hey, a failure. Hey, hey, Monami, what are you doing? What? No, what are you doing? I see you. I see that, Monami. The bomb was not real. It was merely a fireworks display. Did you notice the rabbit? God damn it! All to hell! Jeez. I see. So that's yes, why Tony, you're the you only one it. who knew the bombs at the military base were fake. Mm. I did. As did Monami as well. She was also <laughs> secretly peeking I'm at glad. the bomb. <laughs> I'm glad that you saw it too. Oh. Which means sound effect cut off. If those bombs are the same ones that disappeared, it would mean Nagito took them. That is why I knew it was fake. However, I did not think it was strange that Nagito blew up the hotel lobby. There goes guys Luigi. The bombs were real, and I could not stop thinking about it. But upon further reflection, that might have been Nagito's plan all along. He showed us a real bomb to make us believe that the bombs he said were real as well. It's one of them. So the Nagito's action was extremely calculated. Problem is, is reason for doing it. Um, with this, I have explained everything. Do you have a minute? Thanks. Well, you just took a minute to talk to me. There should be no more reason for me to doubt me. Y you're right. Got it. Oh, you did. Thanks for the bullet. Someone use a cap. And now I got the hiccups. Great. Oh, Connie. What did you do? Captain going to bury us in the corner. I'm kidding. Or am I? Right, we're back to it. Um, <laughs> what if a Gundam's killing and for me cans? Hey, hey. But it looks like the time doesn't matter this time. It was it was clearly written in the Monokuma file that the estimated time of death is at noon sharp. Like, but we all split up before noon to search for the bombs, which means no one has an alibi. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> Can we look? Oh, Monokuma panels. <laughs> Just moving on from that. So a lot of tipped over Monokuma panels. The panel near the curtain in the back is tipped over and burned. If I do that. I'd imagine the burning was from the fire. <laughs> Why are they scratched up like this? Last time I came here, I seem to recall. <laughs> Last time I saw the unburnt thing, it seemed to look very not burnt. They should have been neatly put away. Why are they scattered on the floor? They're gonna get dirty. They're gonna get moldy. They were the ones who made the mess. Huh? See? Look, the tipped over panels by the entrance is really close to the door, right? So maybe the reason those panels. If we hit them with the fire grenades. Or not. <laughs> Oh, okay, maybe there's blocking the door. Fine, I'll open it slowly. No, that's not the problem. Seriously, I'll be fine. It'll be fine. I am such... It's just hard. Words are hard, honestly, guys. Can we be honest for a second? I mean, we all know that words are hard. I'm not... I'm not the weird one over here. You are. Okay, moving on. Those words, Akane brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Huh? It's not opening. There's something black in the door? I can barely open it. I, I knew it. It's the trap. Seriously, just stop it, okay? Didn't I tell you to be fine? I just gotta use a little more force. <laughs> what happened if it opened slowly? Kind of ignored the protest with a mighty kick to the door flew open. BAM! Good job, Akane. Could it be? Was well? that it? And there was something else I've been wondering. Hey, hey. What? This Monokuma panels are tipped over starting from the entrance of the back of the warehouse, right? Dominoes! Oh, Dominoes! Ooh, dog. You're lying on top of each other in a straight line. Yeah, compared to the other tipped over panels, this one in line is the only one that's neat and orderly. So. Isn't it clearly strange? Strange, that means. Let's speculate that when we're done in ten. Mm, okay. Monokuma panel has been added. Alright. They put in a station looking for clues inside the warehouse. I was able to find some clues, but there were still so many things I don't understand yet. Hold it. Well, thanks for looking out for me, man. <laughs> You look worried. Y yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> you, you do you do not see that over there? The freaking <laughs> awful scene? At a time like this, it might not be good if you brought a new investigation range. I mean, it's good to investigate other places as well. She might be right. Yeah, she's just trying to get me away from the dead body. Keep me from freaking out. G freaking, that's like you just killed me. I was Nagito for a bit. You know, I lived him. I, I lived the life of the Nagito. What was my consolation prize? She might be right. There were several things I've been wondering about besides the crime scene. The military base that Sonia mentioned, the... Plushy factory next door, Izumi Castle, where we originally came from, and Nagito's room too. I'm going to understand the reason for his action and know more about him. Um, 
I'm pretty sure the others have already finished the investigation. Can you hear hey, me? Yes. Hey, you guys, isn't it about time we leave this place and try exploring other areas too? Response to Chiaki, the others gathered around her. I see. Yes, leader. I see. I agree. I was just thinking about proceeding to another area. Seems that we have the same idea. Huh? But is that safe? There won't be anyone that guard the crime scene. Yep. We don't have a choice. There were just. They just aren't enough of us. Besides, we've investigated all we can here. Uh, I guess you're right. See? Also, it looks like the clues we found aren't enough to piece this incident together. So we need to search for them in order of areas, mm. probably. Well, alternatively, there aren't any clues in other areas either. We'd have to give up completely. We really have to say that. Hey, hey! It's okay if we leave this place. <laughs> yes, it's okay! God, I love Minimaru. No, I, I wanted to piece together what I think. There's no time for us to stand around. I guess that's right. <laughs> in order to survive, there's no other way to accept to do it. In order to survive, we need to find Nagito's killer. If we don't sacrifice that person, no one can survive. That's our reality. That's why there's no time for us to stand around. I get it! Full on the rock music as Manakuma wrecks from the ground. All right. I'm not going to keep it a secret because that's boring. And I really want to say it. First, I want to check on Snake and Me. Still good. Oh my god! Both a despair meter and steps to growth. Why? Oh, they're not... The number is as lower than usual. Alright, so. I'm gonna say this. It's probably gonna be wrong. Cut me some slack, okay? The investigation just started. And <laughs> at this point, you should be used to it, alright? You should be used to me making freaking weirdo theories. So, with that being said, I think. Maybe the person responsible for Nagito's death. Nagito's death is maybe himself. Or if not the time thing, but I'm gonna say it's himself, because that's weirder and I and weird is good. So let's go over we have some fire. Victim is Nagito Why well, we already read this, doesn't matter. The body was covered inside the warehouse. Yes, that we know. Uh, noon sharp. And we were all together at noon. But that doesn't mean the killer had to necessarily be in there. Only well, there's a spear stab in his stomach, and multiple stab wounds in his thighs. Furthermore, laceration on his left arm, and the knife is impaled to his left hand. Right hand. Cannot read. Both of his legs were tied with rope. His thighs were also covered in lots of stab wounds. His rope was burned off on that hand. Remember, the knife is also stabbed to down to it, into the ground. I am just speaking the obvious, and it's kind of an idiot thing to do, but that's what I'm known for. Five when I was stabbed into Nagito's right hand. Now, how was he gonna stab in his right hand? Well, obviously, you could stab it from the top. I can see where the blood texture is cut off there. <laughs> could obviously stab him from in front of him. But that's boring. That's not what. That's not what Duncan Romper is about. What Duncan Romper? It's the first time I think I've ever called it Duncan Romper. I don't. It doesn't matter how you pronounce it. It's fine. But take a look right back, back to his left hand. The back of his hand is naturally. Very bloody, you know, as something get blood covered in blood. What do we act to? Okay, there is a bit of a blood splat on the knife. That's important. Now, why would one hand be completely covered in blood? Other than <laughs> okay, other than the fact that it's it's got a knife through it, would be covered in blood. Cause he was bleeding. All right, he was bleeding on himself, on his head, his hair, his feet, his thigh, his calf, his shin. Especially the shin. There was so much blood on the shin. Don't get me involved. But not on the palm of his left hand. All right. Now <laughs> I'm setting this up way too much. Why am I taking so long to explain? What I'm thinking is, in his left hand, pretend that he somehow got himself to tie himself down. But this could also go over the theory that someone tied him down and tortured him before killing him. And I'll explain how the final death was thing. So he, with his hand. That his left hand was holding the knife, he stabbed his freaking legs, stabbed his legs, and stabbed his arm. But that wasn't exactly... Oh no! Because he might have done the left arm before he tied himself down. Um... To throw us off. I'm, I'm looking through your lies, Nagito. But, you know, what am I talking about? You can't even hear me. You're dead. Nobody can hear me! No one's watching this right now! <laughs> um... Yes, so... He took his hand, he stabbed his legs and his arm, he laid down he, while, he, while he was laying down after everything's tied. And then, he took his left hand and he stabbed it through his right hand. 
and then tied up tied the final thing around that now you might be thinking how could he tie his hand when his other hand was tied I'll tell you he used his right hand before he stabbed it to tie his left hand and then he just put his left right hand through a burned rope thing because right now I don't have an answer for rope and that would explain why it's burned it's red herring it was never tied to anything it just made us think it was tied to something and he burned a bit of it off to make it think that it burned off in the fire but in reality it was just a thing that's how he was able to get it in after he got stabbed he stabbed with a knife and it wasn't even tied around it he just freaking it was like a hoop just put his hand right through the hoop so he did that his other hand is thin not covered in blood at all because it was absorbed by the knife like if you put like like um like freaking i don't know what's no this usb stick i have a usb stick next to me put a usb stick in like the middle of your hand and then like 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 throw paint on it and then lift up the usb stick under the usb stick if we dry everything else be covered in blood you know it was dry in a sea of blood went the wrong way his hand yes so so i believe that knife was in his hand and i don't know he made that face just perfect now here's no i want to come now here's how i think he dealt the final blow to himself or was someone else dealt the final blow to him like i said everything i could just be saying would have been red herring which would have been awesome because those are awesome red herring guys what i'm thinking <laughs> you don't know what i'm thinking <laughs> freaking freaking dingus i'm like wheatley from portal 2 freaking built by the greatest mind to create the biggest idiot so what i'm thinking is since we saw the little is it does it show up on here yes yeah, right here it shows up a little thing wrapped around the ceiling now you may be thinking why is the ce by the way that's a lie it's pink not red but why is the ceiling important you know why is anything looped around the ceiling well looped around it remember that remember those two words for three seconds one two three boom what is that in the back of the spear connected to the spear i think a thing that you know, there's a loop. why am I just, why am I doing a physical representation of what a loop is? Freaking, A, A, you know what a loop is. B, you can't see it. But he looped around the thing. He looped around the roof. And then, either with fire or some sort of, like, pressure or some other third thing, um, caused the loop to not loop. Like, it was like a, like a, like a knot and then just unknotted. Which caused it, if it was pointing the right way, the spear to fall right down and right on his stomach, pulling the cord behind it, which is on the ground next to it, leaving behind a bloody thing on... What is that? It's not rebar. Rebar the freaking uh, toilet thing. S uh, scaffolding. Something ting, I think. Um, okay, that's another rabbit hole. <laughs> so, another modern me hole. There we go. This... Other than being the most horrifying thing I've seen in existence, I mean, Monokuma is dead. You can't get worse than that. I think this would have just been red herring, and Nagito used his own blood that he, since he cut off himself, his, since he cut off his left, oh! Why, why do I just make random sound? I don't know. That's whenever I just make a sound like a, like a bonobo ape, just know that something just clicked in my, like just like like monkey brain that caused me to think of that. So. After we stabbed up his left arm, this is, this is, uh, rewind, <laughs> rewind, back to when he, before he laid himself down and started, like, you know, tying things on and stuff, he took his left hand and with the knife, just, <laughs> like, right on the bottom of his, um, his, um, what is this thing called? Um, I, I know legs, I don't know why, the thing that's, like, between your shoulder and your elbow, that little, it's like, it's, it's the arm thigh, I'll call it that, because I don't know what else to call it. So the arm thigh, he took, he said, <laughs> all over his arm, inner arm thigh. And he took some of that blood, and he smeared it on the Monokuma that he, he, he freaking falcon punched a hole into. That explains that. Now, what did I say? Okay, this was, this was just playing Dolores in, you know, to creep, to make a creepy atmosphere. Fitting for the Monokuma creepypasta, all right? Best creepypasta. It's up there with the Harbinger experiment. No end house. And yes, even. Let's have a really good creepypasta. Um. Uh. F Fallout 3 number station. Normal P for normal people. There you go. It's up there with that. Totally. Um, so that was just like to set the mood, set the atmosphere. And, um. She knew that the bombs were fake. Which you couldn't have got to the military face faster. 
So, see, the bombs are fake, just fireworks. Now, remember how they are. And it's very all orderly line. Like, dominoes. They're even going back. I was wondering, because, yeah, I was wondering why they were all clumped up together. No wonder, they were freaking dominoes. So when we opened the door, made dominoes that kept going down, down, down. And then some freaking how I landed on the, um, the lighter, which caused a spike. There's a fire in the room. But, as I said before, I don't think that it burned this off. Because... Okay, so look at... So, <laughs> this was burned off beforehand because we know that there was a lighter at least near him, or related to this thing. So we used the lighter just to burn off the bit of a rope right there to make it look like he was tied down by someone. And then, um... This caught fire, and it just had fire around him and in the room, and like, to sadly, those four brave Monokumas. Um... But that's all it burned. It didn't burn him, it didn't burn his arm, it didn't burn the rope connected to his arm, and the spear just did the rest. So... He would- he either set this up to die, because even like Chucky said, there might have been foreshadowed, because I'm playing- I'm paying way too much attention to the- what- to everything that happens, out of the case and in the case now, because like, after freaking- the- after every case, I'm gonna become like a freaking- I gotta focus on everything! What? Anyway. Um... So I think that- Because Chucky also said, whoever had this really didn't like him. Really had it out for them. And we're at the point where no one will kill anyone else. We know you can, we can't get he can't get any more hope out of us, all right? Because I mean, Chucky Chucky's too too freaking awesome to kill anyone. Free he goes way too awesome to kill everyone. I'm the main character and I never kill anybody. Freaking loser! Come on, Hajime, get in the game. Literally, um, Akane, she's more like like she'll beat you to she'll beat you to almost death, but she won't beat you to death. You know she's. She's violent, but she's not a murderer. Um, Kazuichi, Kazuichi would just kill himself, you know, like, he'd, he'd try to, like, sneak up on someone, like, the easiest task, drop a, drop a cinder block on his head, and he'll end up just, like, like hanging himself or something. Um, and Sonya... Maybe Sonya. Maybe. I don't know. If I had to pick up one, let's go with Sonya, why not? Because that's... A maybe, but it doesn't matter. So, um, and first of all, people had him out for it. People were out for him. Uh, like Kazuichi and Akane wanted like, oh, let's, let's kill this Nagito guy. But when they saw him, they, they like seemed genuinely spot like, Whoa. like they go, wait, hold, mm, mm, wait, hold on. That's, I mean, he's, he's, he, he, this is what I asked for, but it's not what I want. You know, that sort of thing where like, um, like he was, man, I wish I could. I wish school would go faster. I wish I could get out of school. And then when I out of school, he's like, wait, hold, wait, it's over? Hold on. I'm not like that. I made peace with the fact that high school is ending and since 8th grade. But let's stop talking about stuff that doesn't matter and get back to the case. What I mean, what I'm trying to get at with that is, you know, they all disliked it. They wanted him to go away, but they didn't want him to die. Like, they just wanted him to, like, like go, leave, stop, get away. They didn't want him to die, though. And that's how I was with Hyoko. I mean, I wasn't super sad when Hyoko died, but like, that's not what I wanted to happen. Especially not like that, like... Then again, I thought that was brutal. Yeesh! What Nagito? Um... So imagine what it's like for them! And, um... So, I don't think any of them could or would kill him if they had the opportunity to. So, with him realizing that... Yeah, I'm finally getting back to this. When hit with him finally realizing like okay well freaking no one else is gonna kill each other so no more hope can be made, um, so he decided to off himself because Shaki also said it might have been someone who disliked him a lot. Who dislikes Nagito? No one dislikes him more than himself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nagito. You're freaking awesome, but we gotta speak honestly. I mean like that isn't even like a bad thing to say. It's just it's the truth. He didn't like himself. I mean I liked him sometimes, but <laughs> he didn't like himself like an any time. So that would answer that, and would be fitting for the foreshadowing. Um... Oh, I was finally gonna sound smart and I forgot it. Uh... But let's just say... Main theory, just for just for funsies, for now at least. Uh, let's say Nagito did off himself. Um, for our benefit, same way that Gundam did. Well, you know. <laughs> Miss Gundam. Um, but let's say if he didn't... I don't know, Sonya did it. Alright. <laughs> Back to the game!
<laughs> Welcome to the Epic Ouija channel where we spend 15 minutes trying to convince you of something that's not plausible whatsoever, but you know There was another thing after that. That's just that's just it. My. Oh, Sonia. I have never seen too many Monokuma. You should be happy right now. Are you happy? You seem happy. Well, Monokuma is... Okay, wait, never mind. I thought he was insulting him for a second. Well, Monokuma isn't actually isn't exactly someone you would normally run into. However, however, while I was staring at all these Monokumas, as as you should, jeez, a thought occurred to me. Hmm. I'm drinking water. <laughs> ah! Oh my God, Luigi! The bomb that went off in the lobby might have been set up here. Huh? Wait, what? Do you have a minute? If you hide the bomb instead of a Monokuma plushie, it will make a frightening weapon. Do you not think that the group is focusing us to kill each other to devise something like that? Amazing! A plushie bomb is an act of terror! Yeah, All but it's right. cool. <laughs> Wait, never mind. That doesn't make it any better. Let us rip these up. No! <laughs> we confirm. No, don't! Hold on! There's a bomb inside. This wouldn't explode if we carelessly mess with it. Oh, yes, pie! Either way, it is all gravy. It's not a... <laughs> what gravy? What the hell does that even mean? Enough ah! already! Stop! No, Mom. Thank you! Hey, Thank you for not um... having, us, having her destroy them. You, my, my, my lord. You know, if you just pick me up, see? All you feel is I'm made of cotton. I see. Hmm, you are right. However... Then where did Nagito obtain the bomb you used? Who knows? Whoa, 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 whoa. I wonder. Hmm. I'm gonna give you guys a hint. You know, it was, wasn't from the military what? base. Tell you the truth, bombs are all fakes. Please wait. Uh, I know that already. You should have said so. No. Well, let me keep quiet. I'm full shadow that the killing was going to happen. That's why I was now telling you for the first time. Phew. Holy. What if a bomb wasn't from the military base of respect but from the octagon? Mm -hmm. Well, I must say, you have a good idea, Sonia. <laughs> Bring a bomb inside one of my plushies seems like a splendid idea. <laughs> Let's try it. Yes. That is. Did I say something I know I should No, you said everything, right? Because now we're going to have bomb Monokumas. That would be awesome. Oh my god, what if in the next uh, thing of the uh, special Super Girl Star Monomy thing, we got bomb Monokumas like like traps? Oh, that would be so cool. <laughs> it's not your fault. Don't worry about it. It is your fault! I'm saying truthful. Oh, yeah, Monokuma account. Best account in the universe. Even better than his last account, which was the previous reigning account of all time. I like said Monokuma plushies are crammed inside of an I can go back to freaking being honest one. But, it looks like there aren't any clues here. That's the worst freaking... Oh, I thought that was Monokuma there standing there for a second. The worst ox one impression ever. Apparently the bombs that were stuffed in the, on the truck were actually fireworks. Which reminds me, the truck looks like it came from the military base. I think must have brought it from there. Other than that, there's nothing in particular that catches my eye. Hmm, very suspicious. Let's go back in the weird camera room. Big room's on the inside of this door. It's where we obtain the fire grenades. Anything inside? <laughs> something on the floor that looks like a clue. Not even trash. Right. Maybe, yeah, why not? The basis of my channel. Gonna say something, then forget it. Um, take a drink of water when freaking every 30 seconds. You know? Interrupt gameplay with a 15 minute theory no one cares about. <laughs> uh, it's, it's probably gonna be wrong. I mean, I spend like 60, 60 freaking percent. Right? Maybe. I spent like 60% of like the last investigation, well not the last one, the, the Ibuki and Hyoko investigation talking about how Gundam could be it. And he wasn't, well he was the next trial, but he wasn't that time. I have fun though, which I think is the big thing. I just want you guys to have fun too. Because while I am the one recording, I'm not the only one playing. <laughs> We're playing together. It's a creepy thing to say, yes, the more you think about it, but still. <laughs> the Dictator Monokuma, raise your fist in the air! See King Industry. I don't gotta go here either. Why am I going here? <laughs> Every area has two locations that surprisingly don't have anything in it. This is one of them. And you'd think this would be it. I just don't like that. I played Detroit Become Human. I know there's problems with this kind of thing. By the way, I think the Detroit Become Human playthrough is turned like 10 years old. 10 months. Not 10 years. 10 months old this week. That's right. Whew, like that was the first playthrough I ever finished, man. Almost 10 months old. God. I finished more games since then. And since then, I... Fairly okay. Upload speed. I mean, this year, I've, I've up, I think I've uploaded more videos this year than I did last year. And it's month four. Jeez. There's probably have guns and other firearms stuffed in the truck bed. I'm very proud of myself. For, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna... 
uh, finish my New Year's resolution of finishing 25 games. But I'll say this. I'll keep going the way I am. I, I'll, even though I have like... <laughs> It's weird. I post for like I post vids for like two weeks and I'm gone for two weeks. Post two weeks, gone two weeks. Just because you know I'm not gonna say like uh, it's school and it's been. It's not school, okay? I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you, all right? And I'm not saying YouTubers will go like oh it's school like lying, but like that's just like a common thing. I'll be honest. I just it's 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 not burnout. It's more just like 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 who I'll take a. It's more like like uh, so I get I get super super busy for one day. And like I'm unable to upload them. Like, well, I mean, I I didn't I wasn't able to upload yesterday. So if I work make new videos today, it's not like I'll get anything weirder. Cause I mean, I already missed a day. Might as well miss two weeks. And then I guess the two weeks. And I'm like, oh, I gotta upload. <laughs> um, but I think I'm gonna keep trying to get better at that throughout the year. Upload more videos. Maybe I'll get to a consistent base for like a month straight. Upload a video day. But I think my goal for next year's resolution, as of now, which. I mean, we're not even a quarter way through the year. We're in the middle of playing a game right now, and I'm talking about this. Um, I think I want to try to make next year upload a video every single day. Which, oof, hard, because someday I'll be busy. But, you guys deserve it! <laughs> you know what you guys also deserve? You also deserve the freaking game. So let me go back to play. <laughs> I'm about random future stuff. Anyway. Ah, oh, found it! Good for you. What'd you find? Huh? Well, I think the bed over there has guns in it, but I also found stuff like... A survival knife? Yeah, that one. Wait, that's a dud, and that real one was from the acting on. Is the same type of knife that was stabbed through Nagito's right hand? She just goes, Maybe. Uh, no. Then he hides it. I, I don't know. He's actually the killer. Which means he can't obtain a knife here. All right. So the killer is someone who visited this military base at least once. I got the bad news from you. That's every. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> not no, not me. It's the first time I've been here. That sounds fishy. <laughs> yeah, kind of does actually. Oh, I gotta talk to you. Oh, I gotta talk to the truck. Someone's gone. Someone's gone. Someone's gone. That's what it was. That huge uh, thing on the back, which created dynamite. Try to look through the truck bed. It's empty. Nothing's here. I first came here, there was something on the truck bed, which means Sony was telling the truth. That's right. However, as I suspected, the bombs had disappeared. I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were not to be found. That's where they were. Did Nagito know the bombs were re weren't real? It's possible that he thought they were real, the real thing. No, oh, never mind. He said as much as in the video message. Hello. <laughs> so, were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Do you really think there are enough bombs to blow up an entire island? What? <laughs> I, after everything I've been able to, I've been forced to expand my imagination towards this isn't but nothing big. Even if there were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. Yeah, see, he's talking bad about himself. God, Nagito, why'd you do that? <laughs> you were cool. You know the bombs were fake. He only did what he did to weed out the traitor. Or that was what he wants. To Ow! Jeez, I just freaking bit my lip. So I didn't mean to scream like that. Freaking. God, I think I just forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, new. Yeah, that's that's a that's a change of events. Sure. Um. I don't know, I think I was saying something like he was cool. No, this really it. Did Nagito only do that to expose the I was gonna say, that's what he wants us to think. Really. That was just a ruse, as we know now, but still. Maybe there was a different motive behind his action. Yep! Is that the truck? Why not? Huge supply of guns and other firearms are stuck in the truck bed. Some survivor of stabbing in Nagito's hand was here too. Maybe. There's a killer obtained the knife they used here. Right. Which means the killer's. Okay, I already talked to you. Wait, was that different? Man. Oh, I didn't talk to you. I forgot. Sorry. Damn it! Dangerous place is the reason all this messed up stuff is happening. Hey! Leaving guns out in the opening is totally dangerous. Seriously, they got to take care of these. You to say that, but there's no one on this island who can do that. Oh, I mean, it's Monokuma. Not that I would. I'm sorry, Monokuma. Not that I would dare ever judge you. Just out of here. Oh, also, um, I have my Monokuma necklace, which is in the same energy of. No, I didn't. Walking. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah, I have my, I still have my Monokuma necklace, which at this point is like the epic Ouija branded Sonichu medallion, so, oh, that's good. Uh, um, but in addition to that, I actually got something else Monokuma branded, because I am, in a sense, I guess also like Chris Chan, a somewhat deranged uh, maniac. Um, that's, that's not, that's too mean to say, Chris. I mean, like, 
Yeah, I don't want him near me, but <laughs> I like at all. And I have no respect from. Actually, no, I don't. It is. It, let's stop talking about Chris Chan. That's not a nice topic to talk about. Um, it's everything else. Oh, you better evolve. Um, but I also have a pair of Monokuma glasses where the left a shade is actually in the shape of Monokuma's thing, and it's red. His red eye. Yes, and the other one is just a regular. They, they don't actually work as sunglasses. They're just like you know, cosplay stuff, which I've never cosplayed before, but I think I might soon. And. Said, oh god, why? Oh god, I want to say goodbye to Snake of Me. Oh? Oh, I'm out of here first. See ya. No, Snake of Me, don't! Don't let. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, 100 more mana coins and some good gifts. No, why? No! Please come back. I have you! No! Oh. It's, uh, at least I was able to save that one. Almost died from the freaking... What is it? The poo, the poo disease. The despair meter was almost full. Is there only snake me? There's gotta be more than just snake me. I mean, not that I can't, don't ma Not that I, you know, care that it's not... Ju that it's just... Why can I not talk at all? It's not that I mind that it's not... Sna uh, snake me, but... Want to see maybe some more variation? It probably is. I don't know. But yes, it's missing. Wow, was it surprised? Hey, look, yeah. it's Leon on the ground. Look at that well of spears. I guess that's obvious. That's where the weapon came from. Look at uh one one zero three L. That is still, I think, the coolest. Like, I that's the coolest. I recognize that moment I've ever had in the game ever. Like, it's the best. It's the password to enter the ancient ruin, but the most important part is erased. Like it was only able to find the password written here, and apparently he went inside, but now that he's dead, we are unable to get the password? We'll deal with that later. Right now, investigation comes through. Okay, so at least I know it's 11037, because if they if they only did something that looks like Leon, but they were off by one thing. But nope, this game's too small for that. A smear, a, a smear, a spear with a flashy ornament is hanging from the wall. The spear is definitely it, right? Yes, it is. I see. So I thought it looks exactly like the spear that killed Nagito. The same whip-like cord is attached to the handle, and there's a weight against the end of it. Oh, that oh, that's where the cord came from. It looks like the spear on the wall is missing. I wonder where that went. Maybe in the <laughs> stomach of our friend. There's no mistaking it. The killer took one of the spears and used it as a weapon. Spear of Ganya! A godly spear of Ganya, actually. Huh? Monokuma would totally come up with a lit. But why did the killer use a spear and a knife? Well, not even yeah. saying a thing at all. No, nope, not moving on. Yeah, they could have just killed him with a knife. It would have been easier too. There's no way a spear like this would, with this unnecessary core thing, would be the easy use to it. Yeah, it definitely looks ha hard to wield. But still, they chose the spear as a reason. What could that reason be? Da 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 da. I feel a little tired. Not much to investigate. I don't feel any closer to the truth. Probably why I feel this way. No! Now you tell wants you to push forward. I still think that he isn't actually a reserve student, but still Hajime for a reserve student. You're freaking cool, but frick off. I don't know why I add that to the end of everything. Can someone delve into the psychology of Epic Ouija? You won't come out a sane person, I can tell you that one. <laughs> Feeling the strange feeling that I've never felt before. It's like Nagito was trying to make us suffer. I feel he's dead. He's died? Did it, wait, hold on. Let's say dead or died. After he's died. <laughs> I don't, I don't, do I not know English? Or does whoever wrote that not? Well, that's, I don't want to make it sound like an insult, but typos. Woo! <laughs> it's probably proper English. Oh, like I know it. Well, now's not time to think about stupid things like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hajime. He's <laughs> talking to me. Like, I, I didn't mean to think about just that. I know our friend is dead. I should get back to that. I haven't even investigated his cottage yet. It's really like complaining. If we investigate that place, we might be able to find some sort of clue. All right, let's go. <laughs> Leave here, yeah. Bound Azumi Castle. Why the Oh, I get it. The A is capitalized and big, so that it mimics a rocket ship. Well, probably would have been much easier if I just went left, but whatever. <laughs> I 
I'm, I apologize for ruining the awesome investigating theme for anyone watching. <laughs> don't even know. Don't remember how it goes. I probably. Uh, let me make up my own song. Um. Uh, that's what this can be. This can be. Oh! Are you okay? Oh, look at you! It's another one! TV me. <laughs> uh, what's a song? Yeah, that's, that's, that'll make it entertaining. Just think of, I'm almost there already! <laughs> Spend the entire thing trying to think of a song. Um. Alright, we're here. Haha, <laughs> hey, take that! I caught you guys off guard. First comment prompt of the video, because we haven't had a two comment prompt in a while. Leave a comment down below. Um. Wait, I'm I gotta look at the map. Uh, what's 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 a song you like? It doesn't even have to be your favorite song. I'm just asking for asking for a song. Please. Yeah, go the right way. Um, I can't even think of a song I'm listening to now. I'm too freaking focused on this. Hi Nugget. Hey, I'm gonna say hi Nugget. Hi Nugget. Oh, level 60. You 40 away. The game's almost over. That's depressing. That is very depressing. The game's almost over. Not the fact that it's short. This is in fact what. Oh, Freaking awful long game. Not off. I meant to say awfully. But they're not, that's not a bad thing because the longer the game, the. Oh, hello. Didn't mean to. Didn't mean to up you guys. I don't want it to end. I don't. Hi, Monica. How's it going? What's this? Uh, oh, my. What was I knocking those room, too? Hi, <laughs> we, we're forming a line. If we, if we, if we go, who's going to come in next? Like, hey, can I come in next? Hold on. Jeez, there's a line. Go ahead, Monica. You, you were here first. Oh, what are you gonna I do? I was just listening to Jackie's request. She wants me to unlock the door to Nagito's cottage because she really needs it for the class final. She fed me the door while she was looking my black eye. Um, I don't. I don't. Boy, <laughs> then do it. We can make out of black beans. Ooh, I'll, I'll, I volunteer, please, please, please. Hey, we don't have time to. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like that? We have been unlocked the damn door. Whoa! I'm fine. I'm fine. I have no choice. I just gotta do that, right? Now then. Now then. Papa Balus! Balus! Yeah, oh, you said that before. I forgot what you said. Oh, can you open the other door? Bye-bye! Hey. See? I'm on the door. What are you about to get now? Bye-bye. My first time seeing that, but why does the door open with a spell like that? Perhaps. Cool, that's why. Maybe the cottage key is computerized? Hey, hey! More importantly, let's go inside now that we know the door is open. Yeah, you're right. It's gonna be either blood everywhere or knives everywhere. There's gonna be something bad. It's gonna be bad. Oh my gosh. That's a really nice thing. Yeah, how does he get a fridge? Well, in turn, I, he gets a fridge, but I got the Monokuma collection, so fair is fair. Well, then again, my Monokuma collection isn't as full. Is your fridge full? Huh? He's got that over me. He's got his full thing. I don't. Where's, where's my Monokuma toys, huh? Some freaking off for it looking. <laughs> so Nagito was living here? What was he thinking inside this room? What was he feeling as he spent his days in here? I can't even imagine. Wanting to see absolute hope. Becoming despair so we could act as a stepping stone for the rest of us. Yep, that... It, you're literally just explaining what he did. No matter how much I think about it, I just don't understand him at all. I don't know if I'll be able to truly believe that. It was especially weird these past few days. What changed him? The box. Maybe the clue might be hidden here as well. Oh, I see you! What are you, what the, what are you doing in this freaking tub, huh? Soaking in his water? You gotta no. get moldy! Oh. Yeah, I found another one! Not like it matters anymore. <laughs> Who is this, huh? Monami is working for the evildoer. Fancy looking treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights is totally standing out. Ah, uh, could this be? Oh, it's treasure! I don't know if you found my treasure. A magnificent treasure box covered in sparkling pink You got it. Perhaps. My treasure box. Chucky, you know about this? Da -da. Yep. Yep. It's really cute. Mm, yeah, mm, mm, yeah, I get it. I get it. Keeping it, keeping it on the down low. Oh, she was just reacting. It's just like Monami's stolen treasure box. If this stuff is here, that means thief. Monami was talking about with Nagito. Why would Nagito steal that? Because it's cool. In order to find out, it's a cute box. What do you, what do you expect? It'd be good to see what's inside. Hold it. Is it gonna be okay? It looks a little dangerous. <laughs> Honestly, we're the, we're the cutest things are the da most dangerous than like other than Monokuma. He's the cutest and he's not dangerous at all. So I, I totally believe him. Might be, but this could be some kind of clue, you know. If this wasn't important. Nagito wouldn't have stolen from Monami in the first place. Turn back towards the treasure box and cautiously open the lid. 
Hello? Ooh. Is that there was a notebook? Oh, diary! This is it! Is there a notebook inside the treasure box? Like it's in something important. Hey! Shut up! <laughs> There's a notebook out of the treasure box and begin leaping through it. <laughs> Bad guy, so cool! Biakui! Biakui became awesome! Everyone's tired of things happening. <laughs> so cool! Yeah, Biakui! There's me and Gene Chiaki like, Oh my god! Bad guy! Be able to talk to everyone for the first time today! Oh, Monokuma started writing in this! I think? Oh, I don't know. Plain sloppy drawings if they were drawn by children and entries that look like chicken. <laughs> Not gonna say anything. Go back 11 minutes in the video when I was talking about something slash someone. That's a freaking weird coincidence. I don't. I, I, I hate this Monami. I love Monami, but her voice. Ah! Alright. Hey, one! I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today! Monokuma showed up and things turned bad! Day two! Yaku is. Oh, wait, this is bad. Oh, that's right. Oh, freaking. I remembered. Yeah, because the leader, a lot of things happened today. Everyone's so tired. What is this? A diary? It's a journal, actually. Mm. Diary's highly offensive. Looks like it. Did Monami write these? Probably. These pictures are entry entries. Totally suit her. Hey! Shut up. Keep flipping through the pages. Day three, day four, day five. Read them! Page after page. No! It now I know when I accidentally press the wrong button, I can go back. <laughs> page after page of poorly written entries. Continue note that note. Oh, yep. Nothing of interest. Because you're freaking wrong. I don't really understand. It looks like there aren't any clues. Oh my god! Those, I just realized those drawings looked vaguely similar to um, the classroom drawings, which I should have looked at more of while playing the game. I really should have, but I didn't. I only went in like whoop, three halfway through the game and two at the end of the game. Right. And when I was about to give up, my hand suddenly stopped an entry titled Day 16. Whoa. What <laughs> a smiley door. We've been in the fun house for three days! Everyone's hungry on our edge! How do we try to go in the final dead room? Hey, he's probably panicking because no one believes him. That's that. Huh? Hey, hey. How did something happen? Yeah, I've turned the page. What do you think? Heh heh heh. Oh, it's a... Stop oh, hi. It. Hey, stop! Don't look at my notebook! See, I told you it's not a diary. Dingus. <laughs> Whoa! I don't know why mommy suddenly appeared and took the notebook out of my hand. I won't hey, forgive I'm that. you! Phew! I asked you to look at my treasure box. I never said you were allowed to peek inside. Jeez, I was close. Tell me later. You would have seen the inside of the notebook. <sighs> Fortunately, you were a little too late. Huh? If the notebook is here, um, then Akito was a thief. No! Oh, what betrayal! I was betrayed by my beloved student. Hey, hey. Hey, that. We already ruled out Monokuma because he's too good for that, but still. Hey, that notebook. It's pretty much a diary, right? Mm -hmm. Say that. That's. That's. Don't write to him. I'm not working. That diary? Um. um that's right, I guess. That's right. My main point diary where all my maiden secrets have written. Hey! Hey, hey! hey. Oh, yeah, hey. it's his diary. How oh, was? That, well, that's a plot twist. You show up out of nowhere. Why you? Cool. Mommy, I'm not gonna lie, you know. Lie? There's no way you want that in a notebook. Yeah. After all, Mommy can't even write. Huh? <laughs> what, what are you saying? Jeez, I can write letters easily. I can finally write the little bean. Yeah, that's there you wrong. go. Oh, you can't. There are no fingers on your hands. Yeah. 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 See? What I? Look at them the same way too. <laughs> I love them. I'm picking those little coolies. Well, what? Huh? Are you mad? I can get that exposed a weakling like you. Hey, hey! So that's what this is about. Oh, jeez. You, you're seriously trying to crush me? What are you mm -hmm. saying? What are you saying? There's no way a big brother could have a crush on a little sister. Da da da. Ooh. Ooh, this is cool. <laughs> Bold statements only. Oh, this is really cool now. <laughs> looks like... Oh, it looks like... Time to settle things between us. It's getting closer. We said... We're gonna have a final fight? I mean, I, I know you're in... Favor of us, but I mean, go Monokuma. <laughs> hey, I don't know why you're getting so serious, but this is what Monokuma <laughs> said is true. Huh? He said you didn't write in that notebook. Is that true? That, ooh. If so, who wrote um, in it? Um, well, you know, it's, um, how should I put bye it? Bye. Hey, excuse me. No, oh, hey, come here. Oh, hold on. Damn it, she totally ran away yeah. again. Same pattern as usual. Looks like it's a waste of time to try to get answers from her. But still, I really want to ask her about that notebook. Well, Actually, might be better if I didn't ask her. Look at that. Oh, a special mommy notebook. Mommy notebook is a true bullet in the handbook. Wait, uh, can I get this box? Uh, is my souvenir? It looks pretty nice. Nice looking treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights. I mean, it's someone from Monami's house. But this is here, that means Nagito was the one who stole this from Monami. Why would Nagito steal this? Did he want the notebook that was inside? But Monami did. Win the notebook. Who did it? No, that notebook doesn't matter right now. I'm gonna say about all this. Mm. Time for investigating is winding down. So, 
book bookshelf might take some time to investigate. Which try examining some other areas first. Okay. Oh, I guess bookshelf. Never mind. <laughs> There's a lot of books arranged here. Did Nagito bring these from the library? There's no books. There's a bunch of random crap stuffed onto the shelf. Um, Maybe take a look at time. It might take a lot of time for story to look through that stuff. To hey, her. hey. Just leave it for later. Yeah, I agree. So I gotta look at the bathroom. No. Maybe the bed. Or the bathroom. Maybe it is a bathroom. This structure like any other room. The shower's over here. Is there any clues here? Fridge. Oh yeah, there's gonna be something. Oh, it's in the fridge. I knew this fridge was stood out. It's a refrigerator. Huh? Nice. My car doesn't even have a refrigerator. I wonder where he got it from. Rocket punch, probably. It'll probably supply to himself. Mm. Stole it. <laughs> the massive heist. Why would he go through trouble putting a refrigerator in his room? Does he really enjoy cold drink? It's gonna be blood. If I touch Shaki, he'd open the refrigerator out of curiosity. Whoa! Whoa! Hmm. What's inside? <laughs> yeah, there's nothing inside. Nope. Nothing at all. Not. Not other than Monokuma's special poison for poisoning use only. <laughs> what else would he? <laughs> Sounds like a comically large, just like top of bottle. You made the top of the thing way too big, so you can't spill like half a shot. Okay, now I'm just. Now I'm quoting an obscure, very rare video of a Nuka Dark Rum Fallout 76 product review that I only know about from Internet Historian. That's a great idea, actually. I should. I mean, I'm already doing it, you know, based my channel off solely off of quoting obscure videos um, that no one other than me is probably gonna get. I made like five references to an old channel called Ponit Show. No one knows what that is. Which sucks because they were really funny. <laughs> Hold on. The weird thing about going off on a weird side tangent no one cares about is that integrating back into it is always just five second pause then, then I just jump right back in. Why not? Yeah, why not? That's re that makes it fun. The only thing is I thought it was a brown mm. bottle. Hmm, someone who likes cold drinks, it doesn't look like it stocks very much. But that bottle clearly isn't a drink right now. Well, I mean, you could drink it. Really? It looks like some kind of dietary supplement to me. Protein powder? These people just uh, have the inability to read. I took the brown bottle out of the fridge and started reading it. Or maybe uh, maybe I'm the blind one. I'm given special inside. Exclusively made for poisoning someone to death. Hey, hey this is... Yeah, looks like it's poison. Wow, I wonder where the game. <laughs> wonder where gave that away. P poison. <laughs> looks like there's a warning label on the back. Let's examine it in a little more detail. But be careful with the bottle. Don't drop it. Stop it. If you want to, if you worried like that, I'm gonna get nervous. Oh my god. <laughs> that's a, that's that's some. It's <laughs> one hell of a fine print. <laughs> Can't make out a word. Okay. Um. Ab. Abnable. Ruby. Bunny Arsenal Arxel Reaction Sped Nom Nil Okay, I'm not doing that bottom part, but the top part, that's what it probably said. Am I right? I grabbed the bottle with my trembling hand and began reading the warning level on the back of the bottle. I can make out um either remember or reaction. Watch, it's gonna come up. I did, I'm gonna get a billion dollars. Poison, poison made specifically for killing someone. I'm gonna come and see a special poison. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. This is not what care. Let's follow the tail as well. This liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. And the gas is state's heavier than air. It breaks down in minutes and it's susceptible to hydrolins. That would, <laughs> which are hard. So possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Keep this liquid secure by storing in a cool place in a glass or plastic container. Away from sunlight. Okay. This sure does look like a chemical made solely for poisoning someone to death. This refrigerator must be to keep the poison secure. But where did Nagido get some like, freaking octagon? Well, poison could apply to the bomb he used at the hotel too. Apply to the bomb? See? Should be a reason Nagito was able to obtain such a dangerous item. The octagon inside the funhouse. This poison, he must have brought it with him from there too, Perhaps. right? Perhaps. He's probably hiding them somewhere in his body during the class class trial. Is that an abominable poison during the class trial? That, that class trial was like four hours! That episode, how was he storing <sighs> that long? I thought it was gonna, like... Like, I think if you brought, like, milk into, like, a court room that's, like, super hot and there's a lot of freaking people in there making it hot and small, so that isn't helping the heat distribution. And it, that milk's gonna taste bad after the minute, Mike. <laughs> Let alone four hours. Jeez, how dangerous. 
What would he have done? He accidentally tripped over the top of the Well, I, I probably made the trial two and a half hours longer by talking about random crap. Seeing about it scares me. Hey, hey. Also, he already blew the bomb. He talked with him in the lobby. But what about this poison? Huh? See? Looks like the bottle is less than half empty. Was it like this from the beginning? Did Nagito use it? So what did he use on himself? I wonder, is there a trap somewhere that he hasn't sprung yet? Maybe. Uh, another trap? Perhaps. For example, maybe he was making some kind of trap using this poison before he died. If that actually exists, it'd be real bad. It could potentially kill everyone on this island. Uh, everyone on this island? W what the hell? Nagito, you trying to make us suffer? <laughs> Nagito? You sly dog, what are you trying What are you plotting? You still trying to make us suffer even after you died? Tain tooth bullet. One come with special poison. Man. The music stopped. Is this the end of investigation? No! No, it's not! Never mind, I can't go anywhere. Rock music's coming back. Slowly building up. Here it comes. Oh, no, not yet. Wait. There we go. No, it's still building. Never mind. But th well, we read this while we wait for it. But that comes with cottages. It looks like the one in my room, but. Hey, hey. Maybe. There's something hidden in the bed. It's the usual place for hiding things. Oh, here it comes. I totally lost track of when it's going to do. Whatever. <laughs> I got distracted with, like, looking to my side, talking, and I didn't. What did that say again? Chucky, maybe some hidden on his bed. Please replace Hajime. Hajime, yeah, like porn. Never change, Hajime. Never change. We should still check in just in case. Monokuma is the best of Monokuma. With no ex expectations, and without thinking, I peeked under his bed and. Hmm, there's something here. There's a bag from the supermarket. Looks like there's something inside. Whoa! The next level. What is this? <laughs> it's gross. Looks like gas mask and rubber gloves. Looks like a real deal. Did he get these from the military base? Gas mask and rubber gloves. He's hiding these under his bed. What did Nagito use this stuff for? I'm trying to think back to other trials. Um, what did he do with the first one? Gas mask and gloves, financial truth bullets. Like Hajime. 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 Was there anything else under the bed? Hmm, let's see. He got under the bed once again and started looking around the area. I found the supermarket bag and hmm, small piece of paper on the floor. It's a receipt. Piece of paper. I had a blue aluminum. What? Mm -hmm. Round thin piece of aluminum, huh? Similar to those seals that go over jars of an open man. It's on the poison, yeah. I get what you're saying, but that doesn't mean this is just a piece of trash. Wait. Hmm, who knows? Maybe too soon to decide that. Yeah, take two bullet level 61. Piece of blue paper, man. Two foot. Shameful. Cannot talk. Are we done here yet? I gotta check my pet again. You okay? TV. Get down the pet. Um. <laughs> Look at the window, I guess. I think that's the last thing to check. It's like loud, it's just like my cottage. There's nothing about this window that catches my eye. Okay, never mind. Nope. <laughs> Why did I press it again? Um, maybe we should save it for last. Like, we do now. A lot of books and other mysterious ads. But the genres inside so random, I couldn't make sense of them whatsoever. Well, they say a shelf is a mirror that reflects a person's heart. Do they now? Hmm. Definitely don't know much about Nagito just by looking at this. What should we do? It'd be really difficult to look through all these piles. Mm -hmm. I mean, we should ignore them, though. Yep. That. I'll leave you the... Uh, no, of course you will. Wait, what? Um, Birth, boy, go oh, that, oh, yeah, that's right. I thought she was about to say something. One lines of Mahiru. Moving on. <laughs> it's better if a boy goes to another boy's things. You know, maybe private... Yeah, okay, that is, that's, a, that's a very valid point. Thank you. Well, that might be true, but... See? So, I'll leave the shelf to you. Okay, bye-bye. I just persuade you to do this without realizing it. Come on, Hajime, do it! Sign walked towards the shelf. One by one, I started removing the various books and items and examining each one. But even as I examined them carefully, there was still a bunch of random books and items. There's no way there are any clues here. You were saying? Da -da. Huh? Oh, we finally see what's inside! Oh, more information about Yasuhiro! Well, that file wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma. This is another one. Wait, what? Was that another typo? I think it was a typo. Have this game had that many typos throughout the whole game and I've just been too blind to realize? <laughs> I'm blind, but now I see. They go sing a song related to another game. 
Not even relating to the game. <sighs> Alright. Let's move on. The game is the best. I don't gotta say anything else. This is another one. That seal! Indeed. It's a school badge of Hope Street Academy. Does that have information about the stolen memories? Unfortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. This file doesn't contain all information. Just how this information. Yeah, I can read through it. Nice. 200 GM, 100 QM, and two smaller drawers that are not indicated whatsoever. Like you said, that only contained information about me, but is that really true? If I look at this, it should be obvious, right? And he said I was from the reserve department and had no talent whatsoever. That might be another one of his lies, too. I'm the fire and held my hand to confirm that. Instantly, I realized something was strange. Is this really the only my information? Then why is this file so thick? Because I'm so cool. What? Ah! Thumbnail right there. Oh, yeah, 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 we're moving up. <laughs> Soon as I, I have too much fun with these. Oh, you guys are the freaking best. Yeah, I'm talking to you in the audience. Or watching. Why did I say audience? Well, I guess audience does fit. Audience just always struck me as more of a uh, freaking in person thing. But I don't know. Hello, once again, audience. Yeah, that's how you ignore a, your brain not working. You just quote another YouTuber. <laughs> As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me, just as I thought Nagito had lied to me. <laughs> Whoa, what a shocker on that one! <laughs> Aside from my information, there's also information about the others. Kazuichi, Fuihiko, Akane, and Sonia. And everyone who died had pages of information about them too. If I contained information about all 16 of us, only my information, my ass. I can't believe he'd make up such a strange lie. So that means the rest of it might be a lie too? I turned the pages containing my information and began to reading through the content. The profile contained basic information such as my date of birth, my height and my weight, and so forth. But there was one thing that specifically caught my eye. The words, reserve core student. There's no denying it. Confirm that was No! Dang it! God. Or well, that would have been too obvious of a plot twist. Reserve core student from the reserve department. Da -da. Why is this the only thing I have that isn't a lie? Why? Why am I the only one who is here who's not- who's from the des- Nope, we're doing that one again. Why? Why am I the only one here who's not from the reserve department? Why? Why am I what, here with all the other ultimates? That's that. This was a fun hey, class. Hey. Hajime, did something happen? Ah, well, I just found a strange file. <gasps> ah, isn't that the special prize Nagito received from when he cleared the final dead room? Yeah. Let's have a call. Your student profile should be in there. Yeah, it was. It was my profile. The profiles of everyone on this island are in here, too. Nagito was lying. Huh? When you said everyone, do you mean everyone? Yeah, it's, ba it's basic information, but there should be profiles of all 16 of us. Can I take a look at that file? Yeah, Chiaki leaned against me and peered into the file. Wow! You're uh. right. My profile is really in here. He's very angry, Jesus. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. <laughs> it shows your name, your pictures. Next page. Details? Moving on. Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. If it's not written in there, these profiles might have been Out written there. before we entered the academy. Ooh. Then it's impossible to obtain new clues from them. This book is three years old. God, I'm yeah, looking for a lim for a new like edition. It. They really got to step up this copy of Hope's Peak Encyclopedia. Ah, hold huh? on. Hmm, what happened? I just found this really funny bookmark on one of these pages. It looks really nice. It says Nagito is cool. I, I just noticed it right now, but I'm turning in like though. The file. His name isn't in there, right? What? There's supposed to be 16 names worth of profiles, mm -hmm. but his name is the only one missing, right? Who? Mm -hmm. Who are you talking about? Yeah. Byakuya. I'm talking about Byakuya Togami. What? Look carefully. No matter where I look, I don't see his name anywhere. It's, it's Kaima. He was such a dingus they don't want to mention. Come on, come on. No hey, way! Hey, you are! Hi! So, what if his name wasn't written in that file? Oops, special nuts. Think it might be the trailer? Actually, hold on. Joke aside. <laughs> this is this is what we do. We ignore it inf important information. We go and we go off freaking probably side jokes. Cause that's something I don't think I've ever thought about or brought up that the traitor could be already dead. 
Freaking... <laughs> freaking this chick could've been the traitor, I don't know. But... Because... Okay, so his name's on the book, correct. God, if I would only remember the height from the first game. Maybe the height's affected by weight. Likes coffee, dislikes commoners. That's what he said, was it? Oh, oh why do I have to take some breaks between videos? <laughs> If I if I just kept doing a video every single day, I'd easily probably remember what was in his e handbook. Um, don't remember saying that he likes coffee and he just likes commoners. I think it was something more genuinely something coming from a prodigy. Also, he was when we met him. Obviously, physically he's much different, and I don't think the real Biakuya would. Let him get this. Let himself get this way ever. So let's say this is not. Wait, this is. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's, let's say this is not Biakuya. This is a traitor. This guy is just Biakuya. Because that would explain. First of all, that explain his personality. Even when I was talking with him, I was like, "Who are you?" Oh, maybe that is it. Because I was genuinely like, oh, oh, "Wait, you want us to work together?" Are you sure you're feeling okay? So that would make sense from being the traitor. <laughs> Jeez. Whoa, 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 That explains his personality and his willingness to work together. His name isn't in the book, which is pretty weird. God, if only I would remember what his handbook thing said in the first game. I don't think his likes and dislikes were the same. Maybe they were, but I don't know. They, they stick out to me. I think the height's the same. I don't think. <laughs> call me, call me weird. I don't think that the that the chest and the weight are the same. It's the first game. That's just a hunch. Maybe. Say him just for. Oops and giggles. Da -da -da. Well, not just because of his name isn't written in here. It's not the only reason I think he's suspicious. Oh, I'm not the only one. Oh! Oh! I see him. I see Yasuhiro. Oh, Yasuhiro makes his comeback again in another episode. Well, I mean, it was Biakwa here too, but it's, it's, it's Yasuhiro. I don't see him in any other picture. They cut. They cut off Boy Yasuhiro in every picture, even in his main one. He's not even showing as much. They did Yas Hero dirty, he was the coolest one! He participated in the Killing School Life at Hope Street Academy, right? For some reason like him for someone like him to be in a similar situation in Thailand. No matter what, it's definitely suspicious. Hmm. <laughs> the other five characters got tired of his crap, so they put him in another killing game. Well, I didn't mean to say this, but I'm saying about the missing name and about the killing school life. Too bad. I'm totally wrong! Look at the completely different reason. Oh, Alright, a, a different You're reason. getting all Jeez. riled up! Sorry. Say put this. Guess I've been getting all worked up about that Biakuya for no reason! Which means, the greatest mystery do you think surrounds that Biakuya doesn't exist? You're basing it on a person's cheap speculations! W what do you mean? What the hell? You don't have to ask me that! The answer is just by looking through those profiles, right? Huh? Who's gonna say his likes and dislikes? And his height? I just went back to the file. One by one, I started flipping through the pages until I confirming the names. Oh! Oh! I'm giving him the biggest death stare. <laughs> Suddenly, I came across a page that was filled with question marks. Every section was filled with question marks. It barely could be considered a student profile. On that page, I was only able to confirm one thing: <laughs> ultimate imposter. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Ta -da! That, that Biakuya's true identity. True, did. 
Okay, okay. So, I, w I was right the last second saying he was a different person. That gives us a lot of information. A, I, I, te I technically called from the very beginning he was at least not the same person he was in the first game because of how he was acting. B, that means BR Creators might not be dead, which, thank you, you didn't kill off the guy from the beginning. C, <laughs> I mean, what do you say after that? Maybe Monokuma's trick, no, Monokuma wouldn't, do, wouldn't trick us. We, we and him built a bond too strong to be broken like that, but. <laughs> that is so freaking cool. <laughs> True identity. He was a fake that was pretending to be the ultimate Afron Fantasy, Biakria Togami! A, a fake? Serves him right! Hey, um... I don't care that he died, frick him. Oh, that's what he was saying! Like, my whole life, people have not trusted me, uh, and people were, um, and, and uh, maybe soon I'm telling the truth. People won't, don't trust him, because they have no idea who he is, because he's too busy being someone else! And we just thought that was like, oh, well, that's Biakwe, you know, like, he's, 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 a, he's a loner. But I should have realized that was instantly not applicable due to him being such a team player. As much as it'd be cool for him to be, let's be honest, Biakwe, he's not a team player, you know. He's out for numero uno only. Which, by that means, it, he should be going for, yes, hero, so he, he, he's got the spirit, alright? Let's give him that. That is so cool. I have his profile is missing with question marks. Isn't a mistake or an oversight? Oh, my group is still talking. Surprisingly enough, there's the correct information regarding him. The ultimate imposter has no name, no permanent address, and not even his age or gender is on. That's all. Oh, that's why he's the ultimate imposter. He he can't tell people anything about him because he doesn't exist. Basically, he doesn't exist. If he doesn't exist. He's able to exist as in anybody. That's his talent. <laughs> I found not just that at all. Th that person. Wasn't really Biakuri or Togami? Perhaps. Is that why he was so much fatter? <laughs> Jesus. Compared to when he was involved in the kid's school life. So nice cool! <laughs> his physical, his physique doesn't affect his ability to fool others at all. Real imposters are skilled like that. I was gonna say. Then he was lying to us the whole but time? Still. But he couldn't help it. What? Why couldn't he oh. help it? It's true. Because that was his talent. Huh? Well, having talent means you're also bound to that talent. The moment you obtain a talent, the way your life has already been chosen. Well, my life still isn't chosen, because I got no talent. Heck yeah. <laughs> Give two enthusiastic thumbs up from the back row. What am I talking about? I'm the ultimate, I'm the freaking ultimate detective, and this series has proven it. Hey, not all proof is, is the most sound. Okay. <laughs> Can't do anything else except rely on that talent. Regardless of whether you want that life or not. <laughs> it's in that sense, but uh, the ultimate, your life might be a little more liberating. What the hell? Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'm happy that you guys fell for a scam that I had nothing to do with. That's right. So I'll tell you straight up, so revelations about Biakuya is exactly the truth. <clears throat> Thank you. The then, the then, what was he trying to sound like a remix? What 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 was he 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 trying to trying to 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 say so to me at the time? I'm sorry to sound like Teru Teru. <laughs> Cannot. I cannot talk to others about my past. Suspecting my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn for a long time. When I been living hell. Exactly, I, I knew it bringing us up. <laughs> he hasn't been in episodes since episode 4 and I can still do his voice. Vo vo voice perfectly! <laughs> if only I could talk perfectly, that'd be, that'd be a cool talent to have. Hmm. What's on the context, if I had to guess? No, no! He was complaining that he was cursed to one of the earth as nothing more than a fraud. But, because had your school memories, then you would have been betrayed in the first place. I mean, it'd be different if you were trying to meet him for the first time. But well, since you guys went to Hope Street Academy, you should have known about this ultimate imposter already. So in the end, it all leads back to the memory loss. Phew. Jeez! Future Foundation, sure is awful. There's no way you could ignore him, Monami, or the traitor. <laughs> Who is it? Who's the traitor? There's someone looking at these 16 profiles. I like how he didn't include himself. Still wouldn't know who's the, from the Future Foundation. Is there really someone like that? Of course! Well, obviously! Well, no! What the fuck? I just couldn't find out. Could it be? So if this, it's just as I thought. You're the one who did it. Hey. What? Um. There are 16 profiles in there. 
Yeah. Like, What's wrong? Hmm. I mean, traitor's a spy, so my the future foundation. I shouldn't have Oh, okay, so he is in the traitor. <laughs> so that's just in there for like, Meh. oh, by the way, it's not Biak here. Have fun. After we put you through the trauma of seeing what you thought was your old friend die. Like you, you made a fake profile for the traitor and included it in Correct. here? Correct! It wouldn't be fun if you figured out who the traitor was so easily, right? Hey, hey! Then we can't use this file to figure out who the traitor is. That was true for Nagito, too, right? Hmm. Well, probably. <laughs> yeah, the biggest truth bullet of the case, I think. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, by the way, we forgot Nagito was dead. We haven't been there in a bit. But this might be the last one. Who's big Academy Files, man? Truthful, it's said to him. I guess not. <laughs> That's dripping with despair, is it? Wish you'd the time on something that is a clue. Are you sure well, otherwise, about this? I'm sorry, no. T time's up? Okay, wait. Bye. Excuse me for a moment. Oh, he's got to go back to his desk. Yep, yeah, there it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to break character biting in the coughs. There was no coughs in the subtitle. <laughs> that chime just now. What is most important for living things? Hope. Life. Air. Water. Oh, gee, I don't know. I got this. Um... Hummus? Well, personally, I think time is. Dang it! Oh! Always get that one wrong. Dang it. I mean, your bank account may go up and down, <laughs> but what? time will inevitably run out, right? Ash. All these specific examples. That's why we gotta cherish time. Yeah. There's nothing more wasteful than wasting time. Well, joke's on you. It's a so, truth bullet. <laughs> time's up. <laughs> We will begin the last class trial. What? So please gather at Monokuma Rock. Wait, this is a... No. <laughs> I'll see you soon. I mean, no, no, the end was coming, but still, hearing it. I mean, I mean, we still got two long Daken Rampa games, and if the games just keep getting longer like this one, then... But still. The last class trial? He, he said that, right? He said last class trial? Da, da, da. Yep. Oh yeah, cause the time is low too. Yeah, I heard it too. He really did say it was the last class trial. W what do you think? Should we believe? Yeah, of course, um, obviously. Monokuma seemed anxious about the Monokuma time earlier, right? Two more days. He said something about the killing's cool trip ending, right? Based on the time limit, that might be definitely be the last one. But still. But I can't imagine that's the real end. Huh? I think Monokuma's real plan might just be beyond that. I hope so. H his real plan? Is Monokuma still planning to make us do something? What could that be? Maybe, after putting us through all this, he's planning to kill the remaining survivors all at once? Well? But still, it's also not a good idea to think about it too much, I think. I think we should focus on the class trial that's waiting for us. She's saying I think a lot. <laughs> Which, I mean, is a, is a, is a kooky, cool character trait, but still. Y you're right. The class trial for Nagito's murderer. We're pretty screwed. Yeah, we kind of forgot about who that could be. We haven't theorized at all. <laughs> Collected in the thoughts because my because we were so focused on this file. Still can't see who killed but Nagito. But still. Well, maybe. maybe oh, maybe Byakuya isn't actually the traitor, and he just said that to waste our time. Mm, smart, Monokuma. Well, you don't have to waste so much. Huh? Right? I mean, we're not fighting this alone, you know. Hey, right, thank you. Da -da. You're right. You're absolutely right. We're not alone. If it's a mystery that can be solved alone, as long as everyone cooperates and works together. Yeah, if we do that, things will turn out just fine. Another reason why I think. Uh, I don't know if I said this. I think that I think I said it as like oh back when I was like oh I don't know who could have done it, but that stopped being fun after 20 minutes. Um, the last game ended with what I call the Covenant Final Six. So with this game ending with six, who was the amount of students remaining now, would make sense. This I hope this is the final trip back to Monaco, Morocco. No. <laughs> ah, Monaco. Man. Damn right. No, last time we were here, there were so many more people. <laughs> Looks like everyone's here. Huh? Huh? Is this it? Shouldn't be more people. No. Damn it. Stop it. You're making me depressed. You stupid fool. Yeah. You're making me depressed. Um, da -da -da. So, it is going to happen again. The cruel conflict. We must doubt our friends. <laughs> but what? Let's go through with this. We can go back, right? That's right. The Manikuma mm, said so, didn't he? he? said this is the last class trial. <laughs> But we've been tricked every step of the way. There's no way I can believe that so easily. Of course not! How can you believe it? The guy who's making us do all this is the one who's saying it, you know? No, right? That's why I'll definitely survive. 
Ooh. <laughs> right. I don't know why I keep doing that. I think there's something medically wrong with me. I just freaking dropped my USB stick. Gosh dang it! I use my USB stick for every example. God, that was covered in freaking dirt. Gee, okay, that didn't make it any rubbing on my pants. Just got more freaking, freaking tiny little, what are they, fiber things, hairs, whatever. Like I'm wearing hair pants. I'm wearing jeans. This is a weird chain of random side things, but moving on. <laughs> I feel like I'll after we deal with this class trial. Right. I'll definitely find out who the killer is, no matter what! And if they pull out all the stops! Mm. Da -da -da. What, what the? Mm. Why are you here? Da -da -da. Oh, she's gonna confront the Monocoma. <gasps> what if that's the last Mono Beast fight? Because no, I know we have at least one more. It's it's the. It's, it's monkey! Um, other than that, there's another one after that. Is that the Monocoma one? You didn't realize it yet? The feeling wanted to leave this island. The thing like that is Monocoma's trap, you know? Huh? Now she's gonna say we can't go home. <laughs> huh? What are you saying? There's no way. Monica Warren Jean's here. He's planning something far worse. <laughs> ah, stop trying to jinx us. I'll beat you up. Damn stupid rabbit, you just shut up. Shut up. Everyone, you must have run away from despair. Huh? Embrace it. I finally realized after losing my powers, I realized that cursing your powerless or your fate accomplishes nothing. Possibility may be small, but as long as there's a possibility, you must face it. You know what become? Someone can be proud of yourself. That's why we'll fight it. Yeah, I'm on him. Huh? Thank you, Vernon. What's her deal? Um, I I do not n really know, but she seems different from before. <laughs> Maybe she's a self-help book. Wait. But her eyes, she looks so determined. You. <laughs> what can you tell just by looking at those button eyes? Uh. Made of black beans, actually. I know that from Monokuma. Anyway, you say you turned off Mini Maru, be knowing you've. Don't, don't, do not. <laughs> uh, no! But still. <laughs> Fight back! Use your independence! Come on, come on, Mini Mo! Somehow I understand what Monami is saying, I think. Da -da -da. Anyway, let's get going for the class yep. trial. You're right, we need to fight as much as we can. No matter what hopeless truth awaits us in the end. Monokuma, open the door. <laughs> I forgot it doesn't fold out, it just appears. <laughs> oh my god, where did that freaking come from? Is this the end? Oh, this is the end. Damn. <laughs> I messed up the final cool line. I kept saying those words to myself over and over within my mind. I entered Monokuma Rock. Um, yeah. Oh! Cinematic, the final triangle. It's a celebrated right? You should be the last one for this too, right? I hope well, so. Don't worry about. <laughs> I'm missing. I'm missing all the voices for this final one. Let's worry about things after you we're finished. Right. More importantly, we must focus on the class trial before us. Kind of stood ready every single time. Then we go into the earth. Damn it. The killer means to kill someone like Nagito. There's no way this is going to go smoothly. I mean, I still can't believe one of us were able to uh. do that. Nagito was problematic in many ways, but he was also a valuable asset during the trials. Yeah, you're right. Oh, if this is the final trial, that makes sense, because he was like, no oh, more crutches. In fact, doing the funhouse order. <laughs> In all the other trials, he was like the cr Hajime had a broken leg, and now Nagito acted as a crutch. For this trial, it's like someone just took away his crutches and then broke his other leg. <laughs> Alright, now we're on a 10k! Two minutes! <laughs> Even if he's gone, the ones who survive need to stand and fight. We must fight! Ooh, what does the final trial room look like? Okay, I'm gonna. Another, what's another base color? I'm gonna go off center. I'm gonna say indigo. Show me indigo. For life greeting us. Show me indigo. I hope no, it's indigo. Show me indigo. With light of despair, which would fit indigo. It's white then. Whoa! Well now. Oh God! Everyone, brace yourself. We're about to enter the blue room. Well then. Now that that chatterbox naggy toe is gone, so only six of you left. Shut the hell up! Enough! Just everyone start this already! Hey! Hey, this is it, right? This is really the last class trial, right? Yep! Yep, it sure is! It's a very industrial <laughs> place for a final trial. So? Oh, I guess the last final trial was also an industrial place. So, gotta show some enthusiasm and make sure you give it your all! Alright! Did I tell you? He said it! This is the end! Da -da -da. Now then! Now then, let's get this trial started! Viva killing! Yeah. Okay, this is the last class trial. I'm gonna show some enthusiasm and kill each other. Yeah, baby! This is the fifth class trial. 
Quinn of Monokuma. This is also the last class trial. That curtain is about to rise. God. Nagito Komida, the ultimate lucky student. He was the first person we saw too! Oh, he looked so innocent. The first kind of hot. When I first. <laughs> I thought he was a nice guy. He came across as very sociable. Sociable. Whatever the word is. <laughs> his true nature held such a demand, a demented thought process that was nothing like his outward appearance. He was so nice. He said he believed in hope more than anything else. He said that he was yearning for a powerful hope that can overcome any despair. He said he would even help despair just to prove that hope would never lose to despair. And he said he'd become a stepping stone for hope. His way of thinking was completely screwed up. <laughs> you can tell by the screwed up background. But there's also times he saved it too. Someone like him was killed. That was the end of him. No! I have no idea at all who did it, but... Oh, the final time we're gonna see this! Ooh, perks off to this group for being the final one. Oh, if we he can with, one, with both eyes, it's kind of weird now. No way can end this without knowing Nagito, a victim, Mikana killer, and Telu Telu a killer. We were consumed by despair. Oh my god. Poor Jackie, so alone. Biakria killed, Gundam a killer, Ibuki killed, my hero killed. Well, Nekamaru is still alive, but back when Nekumaru was no longer became Mekamaru, he died. Find out. Person who finished off Nagito, the killer who murdered Nagito. Oh, big one. We'll return this from the spare life. We need to reach the truth. Press the wrong button, dang it. Oh, don't forget to do that. Hiyoko, a victim. Peko Pekoyama, a killer. A tool, I guess. According to her, but I don't see her as a tool, but whatever. Monokuma says this is really the class trial. That's the more reason we need to do this. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair, the last one has begun. Save quick. <laughs> oh, final. Oh no. Just like last trial, I finally got in the groove of ending off the investigation episodes like this, where it's a really good starting place for starting off next episode, but... This is the end! This can't be the end! Well, it makes sense. We got, we're in, what, hour 80? <laughs> oh my god. And this isn't even the end of the series. This isn't even the end of one part. By the way, um, I forgot to mention this. Ultra Despair Girls, the, like, mini thing that came in, uh, like, between 2 and 3, it arrived... Today, it was, uh, why, did, why did it take me so long to mention that? It was today, so we got that going, and then three. So we finish up two, do the the, the weird 2.5 one that seems really, really fun because it's like 3D in like a different form. Not that this form of game is bad, but still, just mixing things up. And if the games get longer, then technically we're not even halfway done with all our Danganronpa stuff. There was Danganronpa S, which I was very sad to, um... Learn is, is Switch exclusive. As of now, we make them to PlayStation. Maybe, I don't know. Um, I also, uh, I also in the description of an episode a bit ago, I, I, I expressed uh, sorrow for not being able to play Dengaron by S, at least for the near future. Um, but I also said, yeah, I won't be able to play S or just Dengaron by Decadence. And only after I did that, like a week later, I was like, oh, that's not a game. That's the name of the Switch collection. <laughs> oh. Okay, moving on. Um. God, I'm gonna miss this game. I really, I really love the first one, but I gotta say, this game is so much better. The first game was like a 9 out of 10. This game's like a 10 out of 10. You know? It's... It's almost like an insult to any other game try- it's like Any other game trying is like an insult to this one, because it'll never be as good, I don't think. Well, maybe, I haven't- I still have two more games of the series to play, but... This has seriously been one of the best, if not the best gaming experience I've ever had. That might just be because of like, you know, recording it. Maybe because of filming. Also, this is the most popular series on my channel, so... <laughs> oh god, that sounded really greedy. I don't want to make it sound like... I want, like, like, I'm gonna lose the views. I want a lot of views. It's more like, so many, it, it, that just shows that more people are enjoying this adventure and I don't want the enjoyment to end for them. Or myself. I mean, they could box, go back to other videos, but. Still, it's 
I mean, if if last if last if this is if this is the last trial, which it obviously is, what am I even saying? Then it's gonna go a lot like the last episode of Danganronpa One, which means this is gonna be the last episode of Danganronpa Two, but not before two Far Cry Five videos. <laughs> Yeah, so you gotta build up that anticipation. I am really gonna miss this series. I didn't mean to be this so mournful. This is the second last episode. We should be hyped for the final trial! But the final trial also means the end of this game. This game's really fun. It's bittersweet. In a way, I'm very sad this experience is ending, but the upside, I'm very excited to see what's next. If 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 Trigger Heavy Havoc was perfect and this game was a thousand times better. I could not wait any longer to get into the next couple games. And I hope you join. So, I guess Common Prompt would be perfect. Danganronpa 3. Danganronpa another episode, Ultra Despair Girls. Which one of those two are you more excited for? Or which one do you like more? Don't spoil it, please. Um, all I know what's about it is what's on the back of the box. I, I have not looked up anything about the game. I've looked at the back of the box because, you know, who doesn't do that? Driving home GameStop, like, oh, this, this should be fun. I, no, I didn't get it from GameStop. I actually ordered from Amazon. Anyway, um, it seems really unique. It, it's definitely a much different game, but it seems so fun. So there's a third one. <laughs> I really hope you join me. So if you played it, which one did you enjoy more? Um, if you haven't played it, which one do you want to play more? And if you're staying along with my Dank and Rampa series, which one are you more excited for me to play? I guess we can play, you know, because this is more of like a, this is a team bonding exercise. It's, it seems a little weird if I'm just another like, <laughs> hey guys, and then like, no, no connection with who's watching it. No, this ain't, a, this ain't a solo playthrough. This is a group adventure, and you're part of the group, like it or not. If you're listening to this, you're now part of the thing. You, for life, nothing you would do will get you out of this. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to curse you, but... And get out of this adventure buster. We still got plenty more as we join us on <laughs> So, like this episode. Freaking do 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 knock over a star a feed pack of Monokuma standees into it like dominoes. Just break the like button. Don't break the Monokuma please. Those are very near and dear to my heart. Or explode the brain with a freaking imposter plot twist. Subscribe button. It doesn't deserve to have a right state of mind. Break that like it did mine. But break it. And as always, I hope you have a fan freaking fantastic rest of good rest of your day. Fa I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Wait, that sentence does make sense. I'm losing my mind. Hope you have a freaking fantastic rest of your day. Or a freaking fantastic rest of your day. What did I just fell? Probably the freaking USB stick again. <laughs> Rest of your night, and me. Okay, let's do it. I know all the characters now. Me, Monokuma, maybe Nagito's dead body, Minimaru, Akane, Fuihiku, Kazuichi, Sonia, and Monami, and if there's a tenth person, I don't know. <laughs> and me. And we will see you all next time. See ya! <laughs> I'm gonna be sad when this game ends up. Oh, I see what fell. It's a freaking figure. Okay, see ya! <laughs>